Laughing Woman, and I'm doing a reading this week to see how we can best utilize the energies that are naturally available to us. Our first card is Two of Air, and that's about indecision. Our second card is Two of the Major Arcana, and that's the Spiritual Guide. Third card is Nine of Air, and that's about distortion. Our fourth card is the Five of Earth, which is about change. And our final card is the Achiever of Fire, which is about learning. So what I'm seeing here to start with is the color pattern of the cards. We have air, air, air. Every other card in this week is air, which tells me that we're grounding ourselves in our thinking this week. So it's important to pay attention to your thoughts and understand what's behind what you're thinking, what's motivating you to perceive things that way. At the beginning of the week, there's a lot of indecision. And let that be okay. Don't try to force yourself into any important decisions at the beginning of the week. It's not a good time to do that. Wait until a little later. Connect with your spiritual guides, however you define them, however you perceive them, however you connect with them. The middle of the week is really founded on that connection with your spiritual guidance. When you get into the very center of the week, that's when we've got distortion up. And that tells me that our thinking is a little bit confused at that point in the week. We're not always seeing things as clearly as we think we are. We're not always seeing them from the perception that's workable either. So make sure that you take time to check in with that spiritual guidance about what you believe you're perceiving in your world so that you can make good decisions about how to relate to what's going on around you. As you move closer to the end of the week, change is in the air. And that's wonderful. One of the reasons for the distortion here in the middle of the week is because things are starting to change. You can't completely understand what's coming based on what's been because there's a change right here. So flow with the change when it comes. And at the end of the week, you're learning from that change. Whatever it is that shifts here brings new information to you. It's good information to have. So pay attention to what you're feeling and what you're thinking in response to whatever change has occurred for you. In summary for this week, know that most of the week is about your thought processes. This is a time when your thinking will get a little confusing and then it'll clarify and that's okay. Make sure that you do not force decisions this week. You're not in as clear a thought mode as you need to be to make good long-term decisions especially. Short-term decisions you can compensate for if you go in a direction you didn't want to. Those long-term ones, it's going to be a little harder. Make sure you're well connected with your spiritual guidance this week. Don't trust everything you're thinking this week. It's not all accurate. So check in some way to find the accuracy. And roll with the changes that come toward the end of the week. And just open your arms wide and learn from whatever those changes bring for you. Have yourself a wonderful, playful week as you explore the ways that you're thinking and the ways that you're moving through the week.